What's up, everybody? This is Camden Long coming to you live right now from the beautiful country of Thailand. And I just returned back from the farmer's market this morning. Wow, what an experience. I thought that the market in Latin America were pretty magnificent. However, I come here to Asia and I see a whole new world open up to me. Teaching English abroad, making a difference and for example if you're looking to teach English abroad to do TEFL teaching English as a foreign language in different countries let me first just say the number one reason that you should do this is to travel and to see how beautiful and wonderful our earth really really is to immerse yourself into culture to learn new languages to also learn about yourself because we all have these preconceived ideas passed along to us from parents, religion, education, media, movies, and TV shows that um, make a stereotype out of people. Yes, of course, you can speak for a majority of the people sometimes, but when you really get down to it, whatever you are inside is what you are attracting into your life. Everything comes from within. The, all the power comes from within and your experience is a direct reflection of what is going on inside of you so this morning I well first let me say when I moved to Colorado it was super cold and I was freezing my butt off so I was around other people eating meat and things and I decided to eat some some animal products animal protein and I'm not saying that it was wrong or it was right. What I'm saying is that the beautiful thing about life is everyone has their own purpose, their own mission to fulfill. And for me, if I'm not healthy, I can't give the energy to my students and be an inspiration to people. So this morning, I was about to make some decisions that I have been making every day here, like eating a lot of cooked food, some fried oils, um, eggs, foods um, that, again, I'm not saying that they're bad for you, everything in balance. But I started to feel like my immunity, my immunity started to drop. And I started to feel kind of sick, have a lot of congestion. And I'm thinking, is it the oil? Is it the food? I'm not sure. So yesterday, I went out and I decided to start getting some fruit again. I'm not saying that I'm going back to a raw vegan or a vegan lifestyle. What I'm saying is that if you take a look here, let's see what we got. See this beautiful mango steam right here? Beautiful, beautiful mango steam. It's a fresh one. I got like so many. Let me see if you guys can see all these. Can you see that? I got a whole bag of these things for less than like a couple dollars. I'll get all these prices out for you in the long run in another video. Got dragon fruit. A lady gave me some fresh aloe vera. I love using aloe vera all over my face, all over my skin, my hair. Also got some fresh ginger because I'm going to be planting ginger right outside here on my balcony. And I bought some soil today. I bought some potting soil. And uh, let's keep it going. So I got some fresh grapes. Look at this. It was like 60 baht per kilo. Look at that. Look at the size of those grapes, man. Gosh, dude, this is like, um, this is just pure amazingness. Look how fresh these grapes are. Super dark, loaded with antioxidants. And it only cost me like le less than $2 for this whole bunch. Back in the United States, that would cost like $8. So I'm paying less than like a little over a dollar for that. Also, I went out this morning and I got some fresh papaya. So I'm going to eat a little papaya for you, show you guys what's up. And by the way, I had my first papaya last night. I didn't have a spoon or anything. I just got some knives today. But if you take a look. Mmm. Some of the freshest papaya I've ever had. 
Mm. Mm. This was like 25 cents or something. I don't know, super, super cheap. So again, I got papaya, dragon fruit, ginger, grapes, mango steam, and I saved probably the best for the last. Okay, so this is probably to some people an acquired taste. This is not meat. It kind of looks like it. But um, this is what you call durian. This is touted as probably the king of all fruit in the world. I don't know. I think all fruit is amazing. I don't like t titles on fruits. The king of fruit. But anyway, um, the guy chopped a fresh durian for me. I have more videos to come on that. And uh, when I smelled it for the first time, I knew that a lot of people say, you know, it's a very acquired taste. And when I started biting into it, it was kind of like really soft. It was a very different kind of fruit I'm not really used to. But um, when I started to get into it, I'm like, wow, okay, it's time to taste like creamy custard. Not super, super sweet not bitter it's got like this flavor profile that is unlike any other fruit I've had in my whole life so I'm going to eat some right here for you guys mmm wow what can I say yum 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 my gosh this is so delicious Mm. So I got a huge piece. Look at this. It looks like a kidney. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. Like, you know, people, I made a mistake. Not a mistake. I went out two nights ago. And um, I'll just be honest. I got really, really drunk. I haven't been that drunk in over 10, probably 10 years or something. I don't know. Since my college years. It was on whiskey. And the whole day yesterday, I was basically recovering. Woke up with a splitting headache. It was so crucial. And, um, but, you know, I'm really glad that I got drunk because it made me realize that as much as some of us want to live here forever, immortality on this planet, which I think is pretty cool, what I realized is that our life our, most likely our life here is temporary. It's going to be, it's not going to be forever. So what are you doing to give back to the world? You know, how are you contributing a 100 year plan for your children, your grandchildren and your grandchildren, grandchildren, your great, great, great grandchildren. And um, everybody is individual. Everybody has their own path, like I said. So it's important that you remain true to what you love in this world and remain true to what you want to do. And mm, I, I actually really like this durian. It's freaking amazing. So, um, <laughs> woo! Feeling good right now. What I was going to say about alcohol is I'm a Scorpio. So it actually says in every single review that I've read that alcohol has the worst effect on Scorpios especially liquor and I really felt it yesterday so now I'm so motivated I'm back into the fruit I'm back into uh, a more raw vegan lifestyle eating less cooked food right now I'm surrounded with tropical fruit I'm surrounded in an abundance of amazing fresh food there's all kinds of herbs here and spices and greens not just fruit and um, <laughs> oh my gosh Listen, if, if you're interested in teaching English abroad, more specifically in Asia, leave a comment below. Mm. This papaya is amazing. You know, I've been, I, live, I went to Mexico, Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Little Corn Island off the coast of Nicaragua. Lived in some different places, even lived in Berlin for some time. But now that I'm here in Asia for the first time, it's like a dream come true. I was in Hong Kong for like four weeks, 
and it was a great experience, but super expensive, like super duper expensive. And I feel so free here in Thailand. I don't feel like my life is in danger. Everyone is very friendly to me. There, it's mostly Buddhist here. So I don't know if, of course, I'm sure not every Thai is honest and truthful, just like in any country you go to. But for the most part, everyone that I've met here, honest, willing to help me. I'm the only white dude in this whole town, okay? The only white dude in this whole town. And uh, it's, so, it's so cool being white in Asia, I have to admit. And <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm just ranting, sharing how I feel right now, spreading my energy, my love, and my inspiration to you through this camera right now. And leave a comment below. What countries do you want to travel to? Um, what countries would you like to teach English abroad in? I'm here to help you. I'm almost finished with my TEFL guidebook, ebook format. If you leave a comment below I'll, in an email, your email address, I will gladly send you a free copy of my TEFL guidebook. So to everybody, everybody out there, so Arika, Namaste, Gracias, Obrigado, Arigato, Dankeschön. Thank you guys so much for everything. Have a great, great day. Live your dreams.